In this video, I'm going to be going over the inverting amplifier, and specifically, we'll be talking about how to calculate the gain for the inverting amplifier. The gain for the op-amp is defined as the output voltage divided by the input voltage, although you could also describe current gain as the output current divided by the input current, and this is one of those expressions that has a lot of different names. Sometimes it's called sensitivity, other times output voltage divided by input voltage, when you're in S domain, is referred to as the transfer function. So there's a lot of different names for this, but generally in this case, gain is referring to the output voltage divided by the input voltage. So let's go ahead and begin analyzing the circuit to derive this ratio of the output voltage divided by the input voltage. So the first thing I'm going to do is begin labeling my component currents. And we know that there's no current going into my op-amp. So if I label this as I1, it can't go into my op-amp, so it must continue through R2. So this is my I1 current. And now I can go ahead and label my nodes. So let's call this V1. This is my ground node, so this is going to be zero volts. And with an op-amp, the positive input has the same potential as a negative input. So this is going to be zero volts as well. And this is going to be V2. Now that we finished writing our component currents and our node voltages, we can move on to writing our equations for components and the equations for our voltage labels. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll begin with writing the equation for our voltage source. So the equation for a voltage source is always going to be the potential across it is equal to the positive node V1 in this case, minus the negative node zero. Now we can do the equation for our V out voltage label. And this is going to be V out is equal to the positive side V2 minus the negative side, which is zero. Now we can do our first resistor will begin with R1, and that's going to be an Ohm's law equation. So we're going to say that I1 is equal to V1 minus zero divided by the resistance of R1. And we can do the same for R2. So that's going to be I1 is equal to zero minus V2 divided by R2. So now we know that V1 and V2 end up being VI and VO. So let's go ahead and I'm going to substitute in VI for V1 and VO for V2. And because my two Ohm's law equations are in terms of I1, I'm going to equate them together. So what that's going to look like is VI divided by R1 is equal to negative VO divided by R2. And now we can rearrange this into our gain equation of V out divided by VI. And to do that, I'm going to move this VI over here. I'm going to multiply the R2 over here and then move that negative sign over. So what that's going to look like is VO divided by VI is equal to negative R2 divided by R1. So now if you're given an op-amp circuit that's configured as an inverting amplifier and you know the values of R1, R2, and VI, you can directly find V out. One thing I want to point out that's very important is it's called an inverting amplifier for a reason. And that's this negative sign right here. So the voltage you get at the output of your inverting amplifier is going to be the negative of the voltage at the input of your amplifier. So it will flip the polarity. And it's something to keep in mind when you're using inverting amplifiers. That's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.